Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go to some people. Thank you, Jesse. Back from the pocket. Yeah. When you when you put ball back on the ball, it's, it's nice. Boy, did you, did, you did a scoop back, but you never have a jump in, okay? So do the same shot. Do your full back and stay stay still, okay? Good. You don't want to jump. Err. <laughs> there is no point. Okay? Yeah, nice, nice. Yes, you're getting right. Take this closer, put your brain shine a little bit closer as well, so you can have more through in your back arm from here to chest. And main blow a little bit lower, okay? Okay, now you snatch the shot. Okay, snatch and then you finish to every. Right. Try to finish to your chest. And right. uh, the more fall through you have, not too much, but the more you fall through you have, then the best uh, action you can get. Okay. Nice, nice. Very well. This is the proper distance. This is what you want to have, okay? Your chin and chest, it's amazing. It's good. It's good looking, you know? Okay, again. You were so afraid to do a screwback shot, so you stop your cue. Try to just push the cue through, okay? Without any fear.
now we are a little bit COVID-19 <laughs> situation, so you know it's good to be secure. So good, good man. Right. If we talk about the briefing now, so the, the, main, the biggest issue what I see in the players why the group is too tight. So when they are pulling the cue back, they are not using their fingers properly. So that means if I look to my back arm, you know, their fingers are not open. So the cue is not too lifting up too much. It's not really want to lift a little bit, but too much is it's out of control. I mean, and then there is so much pressure on your back arm, and it's, easy, it's almost impossible to pull cue back, uh, cue pull back and deliver on the same hand. The, the principle is pretty simple, you know, you have to just open up a little bit your fingers, but not too much. I mean, you don't want to be like that. You don't want to hold your cue like a teapot because you're going to use too much wrist action and it's difficult to finish your proper form, but you don't want to be too tight. So, yeah. and a gentle openness, it's nice, it's good, it's good enough. So how to practice and to get the feel, just basically you have to imagine that you have Stick, you know, and then um, and just open up like that as you pull you up. So best, this is the back side, and this is the shot. So when you're opening the back, when you do back side, you open up your fingers, but not too much. And when you finish it, you finish it with all fingers. So you want to be in full control when you finish it. You don't want to be happy like that because it's still in the end you will squeeze the cube like that. So I think. This requires quite a few practice, so just try to do without a, a ball right now. And then I will give you a cue ball, just, just try to get a feel. Okay? Not too much, now I have too much of it. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And one of the good things to work on your cue action, you just make sure when you're putting a cue ball, cue, just make sure that you are through the middle, so that means when I'm pulling my cue back, you can see, yeah, when I do my full back swing, I see that my cue ball goes back to the center, not sideways, not to the left, or not to the right, because that's straight on the cue ball center like that. You can use that both chops, which I told you in the last lesson. And in this way, you will properly train your muscles to do the right thing. Okay. It's like chopping the... No apple through the middle. Do you want to be like that? So just try, try to use it. Come here and just a full back swing, but not hit, okay? And just try to get a center feeling, okay? If you feel that you can go some way, then we have to talk about it. Go a little bit outside of the line, just to go. How do you feel? Go straight or sometimes? Sometimes, okay. So we are on a good path. What I want you to do, in your case, what I see, put your stance more wide and that's like moving further. Yeah. It would maybe allow you, in your case, to be a little bit more stable in the shot. Okay? And turn your hips a little bit to the side. And it will be automatically to, uh, put your elbow a little bit more on the line. What do you feel? Is it straighter or not? Right leg hurts more, but yeah. Okay, <laughs> for you. I can't feel my left side of the body completely. Listen, but it's straight. straight. Your right eye dominant, okay? So yes. it's fine that your elbow is a little bit sticking to the right, so it's that straight. So it's fine. In your case, it's good. Okay, listen, you see this uh, line here? Yes. Put your bridge a little bit to the right. Correct. Now you're going to be more straight on the shot. You're going to want to be dead. I've got friction in my skin. Just because it's... Uh, oh, I, I, I can't shoot like that. Because I've got friction between the skin. So clean your hands or put a glove or I don't know, like something, something, you know. Because the stick is... I understand that that chicken stick can be a bit sticky, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, what, what I noticed, that what happens sometimes is... Uh, when I go back, it's still on the center, but at the last point, it just goes sort of sideways. It literally at the last tenth of a second, it's just like I lose control. Yeah, just because you hit in the chest and then you go in mm -hmm. like that. So if I were left handed, if I hit into the chest, it goes like that, you see? Yeah. So it's normal that it goes to the left. 
So what do you have to do? Just stop your cue before the chest. Mm -hmm. I mean, just you have, you're hitting your chest gently. Okay. Okay. So the, what is the exercise? The basic exercise is like you know, start the rhythm. You just approach the shot. You do a full back swing. Three seconds. And shot. And it's how you can test your swing. You have to tell yourself, okay. So if I I feel that aiming straight, I hit him straight, nothing can go wrong, and I hit him. And the ball goes back to the body. Yeah, it's like I, I try just hitting the cue ball along the line, and it must come back to hit the. Yeah, the yeah, I mean, this is the second yeah. step. Now it's the first step. This is how you can try it. I mean, actually, this is the first step. First step is just full back swing, and you see how you do. And fourth step is when you do full back swing and the shot. You, you only hit the ball when you are ready. For back swing, tell yourself to yes or no, and then hit the ball. Okay, a little bit too quick. Just be more relaxed and quick, okay? Tiny bit, tiny bit more relaxed. Okay, for back swing, and shot. Same. The, the last you point, I like a little you, control. You twist it, you twist your grip. This is the reason. Okay. So it's fine. It's gonna be solved by yourself. I will, I will look to your grip. Okay? okay. No worries. And please hit the ball. Like if you want to get more comfort, just try to hit back of the center part of the pocket. Just try to get the feel. All right. Okay. The reason why you're missing to the right is just because your grip is twisted. Okay. okay. So listen, we have to remember the first lesson, I think. Pick up the key naturally and just move to your shape form. Yeah, don't change it. It's like now it's good. Okay? Approach the shot and do nothing in your grip, okay? Okay. Just try to keep as straight as possible. Okay, look at this your grip. This is a much different grip. Your grip yeah, is like this. And now it's much better. You will see the big difference right now. You will hit the center part of the pocket just because of that reason, okay? Okay. I hit the side of the pocket. <laughs> no, but you hit the actual another side. Mm -hmm. Before you were sitting on the left side, so that means you still put the ball even when your foot was uh, too tight, you know? Yeah. Full back swing and shot. Okay, nice, nice to hit. Sure. Show off. <laughs> right. Okay, listen, so remember your full grip. And when you're moving your grip, when you do a full back swing, okay, you're hitting hard because the grip is a bit short. Mm -hmm. Open slightly? Yeah, oh, yeah. You see it? You dropped it. But you still put the ball. Okay? Yeah. And I, at the end of the shot, I still sort of squeeze the. You. you don't have to, okay? Right. We're not in that stage it's, that you have to squeeze your cue. I mean, instinct. I don't understand know. That. I understand that. Hit the ball. I. How was your movement right now? Uh, way more straighter. Okay, that's great. This is what yes. I want to hear. This is what I want to hear. But then my hands getting sweaty quite fast. Okay, you hit it 20,000 million uh, miles per hour. Hit it, hit 20 times less power, okay? I mean, listen, you're, you're putting amazing balls sometimes, okay? Sometimes. So, relax. And hit the ball. Actually, your grip is nice. I like it. Hit the ball, please. You actually, your action reminds McGill. I don't know you. He played in the Crystal World Semi-Finals against yeah. Kyle Wilson. Alright. And lost on the last frame. Yeah, I'm lucky, actually. Um, um, they were both unlucky 20 times in a row. Yeah, and Kyle was a little bit lucky, more lucky in the end. But that frame was insane. Insane. Crucible Classic. Everybody's going to talk about 40 years from now. And Ronnie, of course, showed his class again. But it wasn't his best performance, Kyron didn't perform well, maybe he was too much 
exhausted, you know. So what did, was the difference before? I am beholding the cure differently. Like previous, oh. yeah, yeah, previous day used to bend it in, so I noticed that like when I hold it, yeah, it was a straight line. Listen, and now I'm bending yeah. it like back. To correct, back. correct. I mean, your your everything, your shoulder was okay, your head was okay, and your grip was uh, collapsed completely. So in that case, now it's almost impossible to have consistency. You know? So when when your wrist is straight, your elbow is straight, and your hand straight, everything is getting good. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, and don't, don't try to use, don't try to play. Go smash. Go smash, okay. You did a screwback shot nicely without yes. too much power, so you can do as well with that same shot. Just don't overthink, just. I can't do that. It's, it's fine, it's fine, I mean. It's fine. Okay, listen, your grip is nice. Listen, just make sure that your um, thumb is like a reference point, point straight to the floor. Okay. Nice and smooth pull back. Shot. Uh, I was like, I gripped it at the end, I started gripping okay, it tightly. Okay, you did it uh, right hand side, intentionally. I don't know why. Just, I mean, a, listen, just, just before the shot, when I gripped it tightly. You do not know why. Listen, I, your left shoulder is too straight. Bend it, bend it down, please. Okay. No, no, not yours. Yes. No. Too straight. I mean, not like that. Don't... Like that. Yeah, again, more, 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 more. Like that, listen, not straighter, bent. Yeah, correct. Much better. Keep it that way. What, what doesn't hurt for you? <laughs> no, seriously, 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 what doesn't hurt for you? Um, With your left shoulder. What doesn't hurt? Yeah. Uh, anything else besides my elbow? Lying down. I mean, show me, show me the position which good, 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 is good for you, naturally. Maybe it's your way, I mean, listen, everybody is different. Yeah, it's not your natural way to hold the cube. Full pull back, swing. Okay, still goes to the right. So we have to solve the problem. Right now, I don't feel any change. Okay, so keep it that way. I mean, maybe this is your way, okay? If, if somebody holds straight and it feels good, I mean, I don't see an issue. If it tries, it helps you to align yourself better. You see it? So it's quite a big change from the beginning of the lesson and right now you feel... Yep. Yeah? Yeah? Really don't forget that. Just that re remember the feeling. The feeling yep. is the, the most important thing. Yeah. Okay, right. Now we have a full back button pass line. And listen, please here. And just keep hit so gently to the chest. Maybe hold more on the back. Okay? Yeah. Oh, the back. Yeah. Okay. And don't, don't, don't try to do anything. Special, just pull it. I just started opening. Okay, again. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just will see how it records still. It's still going up. Uh, well. Okay, it was, you see, you saw how was the beautiful sound right now. Yeah, better. Much better. It's not like a... But I didn't squeeze the Q. Okay. This time. And I held it slightly more intuitively. Okay, great. So it was nice. It was nice shot. Okay, your friend does a good, amazing job. Like this, is amazing. I need to practice more. I did like seven balls in a row. My gosh! I told you, stop counting. <laughs> amazing. Sure. Awesome. This it was incredible. It was seriously such a Not nice. Not as <laughs> But I like the jealous. Jealous is good. Competitiveness. Competitiveness, manliness. You no, know, like compete and just be better and uh, try to <laughs> just smash each other, <laughs> each other occasionally on the snooker table. Not okay. Three more shots in a row. Nice throw. Your stance looks good. And good. just your approach. Your throw was nice. Just. I hit it well, I hit in the center of the pocket, and everything looked nice. But then when I look back at it, the cue ball is spinning after the you shot. Were, yeah. You were aiming right, yeah. but still in the end you put it on the edge of size just because of your cue action. Okay. You but you're aiming the ball. So even, even in over a small distance, even if your cue action is not that good, yeah, you can still pot, but if it was a long pot, it would no probably chance. go. No chance. Now I just want to be, 
I think your stroke is quite nice. You're hitting the ball quite smoothly. I think what we have to work on the most is like the way you approach the shot, okay? All right. So you don't have to align yourself like every single time like that. All right. Eventually you will get there. So just make sure that you are using your both shoulders properly. Right. So what that means when you do your right leg, you're already putting your shoulders on the line like that. And what I see from you, that you put the, your shoulders a little bit too late in the later stage. Yeah. And then it's naturally it makes your body move to the left with the right hand player. So what you can do is just simply just, I mean what you do right, just put your both legs first, cue second, and body third. And then you will almost every single time align yourself in much better consistency. Okay, now I want to talk also about, about the approach. Okay, you have nice full backswing and shot. Okay, still goes to the right. So but better, like, just, just slightly. Okay, listen, and the way you approach the shot also is not that, I think you don't have to think about it, you know, how to put your line. If you put like the right leg like this, your head points to the left. You don't want like that. So basically, you know the distance how to approach the shot, yeah? And you are turning your both shoulders together to do that one line, like Robin Hood position, okay? So when I'm putting my right leg, I'm already on the same line, you see? So the only thing what I have to do is just to put my stance, chew on the line, and go the second. And then almost in most cases, I will get alignment much better. Okay, okay and I think your accuracy and for your feeling for the shot is going to be much more precise. So both use like a, a knight, you know, both, yeah. Okay, shot. I think your alignment is good. So this kind of approach is like a professional approach. This is what professionals do. They not only align themselves just before the shot, but with their whole body. And it's so much easier to get consistency in that way, it's unbelievable. If I knew when I started out, I mean, I saved myself like... When did you start? Three years ago. Ten? Okay. Yeah. So it took you five years to make a change? Five years? Yeah. You started playing... Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Five years, ten. I became the twin champion in 2000. Yeah. I should be in 2013, actually. Okay. But I played the trash semi-finals just because I, eat, uh, I mean, I did such silly mistake and I hit it. I had the food before the shot and I played so badly. Okay. Okay. So now your alignment is much better. You're hitting much more center cue ball, and even if you're not that perfect on the small distance, you still will want the ball. Yeah. So. Always the alignment goes first, then the cue action goes second, and then the rest of it, you know, is first, you know. Okay, listen. Align yourself better. And you also have to remember that the, the reach, this part of the hand, is important. You don't want to be sideways because actually then okay. you will pull back to the side. So align yourself with the reach together with that. You, you can spread your fingers more, it's, it's gonna make your bridge just more stable. Alright? Oh, look how it's going on. Yeah, it's still going well. One thing which doesn't allow you to be have a few, put your uh, yeah like that, okay, press like that, and it's gonna, it should be like that, okay. Right. Now your your bridge aligns the cue my straight for full passing and shot, and I just don't see in such a distance how you can make a mistake if you do that. 
I just don't see how he can miss. I did. <laughs> just because you hit it so hard. So hard, you know. Listen, you don't have to be like me. I'm freak with my... And your friend is freak as well. In the fun. You're normal, okay? Alright. So you don't, you don't have to, you know, stretch it out. I mean, you just... Listen, this, this is good enough, okay? Alright. That tells me that. Yeah. So... So you don't... Actually, this is quite bad if you have high because then your knuckles, this part of the knuckle, and this part of the knuckle is like going from low to high. And it's, it's just, you, just, you want to be, make it more square. So it's good. I just think that it, it, it should go away from the line, you know? That's it. This is the point. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we are now based in Lithuania. This, there are my Lithuanian students. For educational purposes, we do lesson in English because they speak wonderful English. And I mean, you're putting the ball, but just try to be a little bit smoother, all right? Okay. Let's do screw back shot. Set yourself a challenge. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Be more like this. Okay. Than normal. Then. Yeah, yeah. Okay, a few more goes, and our stream is gonna be over. I mean, you're not gonna see the full lesson, but still, some parts of the lesson which might be helpful for you. Okay, nice. This is the stroke which I'm looking for. It felt better. Okay. But I didn't screw it back. I need to wash my hands again. Yeah, yeah, sure, because it's actually summertime, so sometimes, you know, the queue gets sticky and you need to clean your queue or your hand just to make sure that your movement is much more free. Okay, so that's about this lesson. I mean, uh, you saw quite a lot and uh, hopefully uh, you will like it and uh, just make sure that you are sharing your comments and telling what you think about the lesson. Subscribe to the channel. I have more... Uh, beneficial video course which might be helpful to improve your technical stuff and just yeah looking forward to make more videos like this until next time it was video short episode professional soccer coach until next time take care